These guys are nasty. I hope I will make it without breaking my back. Good morning guys and welcome back. It's time to move after a resting day here in the city of Melbourne. It's time to leave. Making my way out here out of the garage while I'll tell you what's going on next. So Emergency. <laughs> yep. Sure. Let's keep bring back the key and get out of here. Then I tell you what's going on today. Alright, I'm out of here. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? <laughs> Somebody's cooking. <laughs> Alright, so um, I have an appointment for a service check and the 15k service on this motorbike. As you can see, we are at 12,167 kilometers at the moment. And I have basically two weeks to go. The plan is to reach Sydney in roughly one and a half weeks. So the direct way is 1000 kilometers. Um, yeah, I think it's easy doable, but I will take my time. So the accommodations here are getting super expensive thanks to Taylor Swift. She's here for the weekend, so the accommodation, first of all, to find one is already a hustle. But um, to then basically get one is another one. Um, yeah, so the accommodation I got so far are not the best, so who cares, right? <laughs> all right, and we are basically out of here. All right, I didn't close my jacket. I didn't do sh because everybody was like, uh, alarm, alarm, we need to get out of here. Man, that was the worst timing. But anyway, let me just turn around somewhere here, close my jacket and then we are out of here. So the plan is to go to the so-called Victorian high country. Um, uh, it should be easy nice riding for the next couple of days I hope with uh, a lot of off-road but this is something to find out soon I guess one and a half weeks in the Victorian high country the weather promised is quite nice up to 26 degrees and the night should be around 14 so that should be absolutely fine so we can camp for a couple of nights somewhere in the bush i made it out of this city and heading into the countryside here is it this one I hate this thing. That one is for sure. Why don't you say anything? Uh, why do I have it on my headset if it doesn't work properly? Anyway, so I made it out of the city and I filled up the bike and my petrol can that I basically have for my multi-purpose cooker. The plan is to go camping over the period of the next two weeks as much as I can. So let's see how this goes. 
good with me, not so good. Because <laughs> let's be honest, I prefer a bed over my sleeping mattress any day of the week. We are at the Black Spur Drive. This is how this road is called. Marunda Highway, B something, B3. This is all I can see, B360. Yes, yes, there it is. Enjoy this twist this year then. Still looking for a way to go down, but the lake is the freshwater reserve of Melbourne. So I'm not quite sure if this is even possible to get close to the lake then. But the view was awesome. And the other side looks even more interesting. This is uh, what I call a road. <laughs> C507 here. Yeah? Testing out a little bit of the back roads. See when we get into the gravel basically. So riding this one from, from north to south. In this case. Easy navigation, 34 kilometers just on this one here. And it looks like there is not much traffic here because you see a lot of debris on the road. That means we might have all 34 kilometers to ourselves. That would be the optimum. So we might see some animals as well. And some foresty trails. Mm -hmm. uh, well, well, I think we need to try some of them today. Let's see where I can roam around for a little bit longer here. This road is awesome, <laughs> really narrow, not much space to go anywhere, but there's nobody around, so I don't mind. Far 
Fort Burton, 26 kilometers to go. Yep. 26 kilometers we are turning. <gasps> Parrots. Bike is set up to rally mode and off we go. So there are a lot of parrots around here and I saw one wallaby I would say or a small kangaroo I'm not quite sure something like that this is like an absolute jungle here We're here at the C511 heading basically up north. Once again, I will be all over the place for the next couple of days, that one is for sure. I oh, like this view, guys. Absolutely amazing. But it looks like they chopped down so many trees because over there in the back you see like every tree by itself standing there. I would say that is not natural. Alright, let's hop back on this track here. Still on the C511. Super cool road for another 25 kilometers. There are forest tracks left, right, and center, um, but they are not showing up on my open street map. So. I have no idea. Holy moly, that one is steep. Not bad, not bad. Because some of them are showing up. Like there's one appearing on the horizon. But that is usually just an exception here. Oh, gravelly road. Nice. Next 31 kilometers. Okay. But I have to check if I'm on the right track or not. Because as usual, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't take too close of uh, attention. Where do I have to go? Oh no, that's right. There's basically only one road, right? Yeah, looks like it. Alright, let's go catch up with these guys then, I guess. Somehow, maybe. Or maybe not. We will see how this goes. It's gonna be dusty. are plowing through the stuff here, eh? Mm. Not bad. Let's see if we can keep up. At least maybe just a little bit. No, no they are. They are not going too fast here. That is a cool track, eh? 
the good part is these guys are cleaning the road for me basically so if there will be something unexpected I will see what these guys are doing That is so dusty. That's why I don't like riding in groups. Especially not as the last one. <laughs> but other than that, we're having some proper fun here. Even though I'm quite sure they don't know that I'm behind them. Forty-five kilometers of this stuff here. <laughs> These guys are nasty. No, I'm just kidding. They have a nice tempo. It's easy going here. Really cool. So I can basically easy stick with them here. And everybody of them, of course, is riding with luggage as well, so that makes it even easier. <laughs> that is fun though. I'm still with these guys, but I try to keep my distance here. Because they're kicking up so much dust. It's no fun anymore. But this track though, this track is super fun. Absolute jam here, and this is an official road. It's not even that it's like a, a track or something like that. Nope. We don't have many of them left in the region where I'm from, so I enjoy every part of it here. Except for these corrugations in the road, they are so bad. In dust we trust, they say. Mm -hmm. Everything is dusty here. Everything is dusty here. I'm like completely covered in dust. <laughs> well, luckily I just had my laundry day. So we will be riding in this stuff for another week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we lost one of the guys. I think he's taking a break. And I'm trying now to catch up with the other two. <laughs> I have no idea who these guys are, but they have a nice speed. I can keep up with so why not right why not sticking with them for a little bit yeehaw that is fun that is absolute fun here even though I have to work Pretty hard here <laughs> with all the luggage at the back. Let's see 
see how they behave on the road. Oh wow. What is this place? I'm lucky that I have so much time on my hand. So I can explore all these worlds here. They are amazing. We have more control over everything here. So the next stop will be hopefully a fuel station and hopefully a spot where I have phone reception, phone signal to check where I can stay tonight. So I didn't see any possible camping ground so far, so oh, let's see how this goes. Just bunkers. I mean, look at the views. <laughs> Unfortunately, looks like it's all private property. So, going inside there is, I guess, an option. I'm just eating dust of all three of them <laughs> it's so bad my visor is already so dusty that it's even hard to see something this morning I thought about getting my goggles out that I'm carrying with me since uh, Norway basically Whoa. almost missed my turn off have a little talk see you guys all right off we go um, there will be a spot to camp they told me not too far from here this is where they are heading so I might join them but yeah let's see These guys are not going easy on each other. <laughs> they just crashed into another. <laughs> oh, too funny. <laughs> so one didn't make the corner, the first one. Went a little bit off the track and came back all the way to the other side. While the other guy was not able to brake before he hit him in the back tire but yeah nothing too bad <laughs> holy moly wrong gear don't do that <laughs> it's so dusty can you guys even see anything this is like absolute worst here But we should be soon back on the tarmac and these guys told me um, you can basically go from here all the way to Sydney on roads like that one like all their tracks that is pretty cool found a fuel station in five kilometers I hope I will make it without breaking my back here 
Does this road turn nasty? <laughs> In no time. Like everything is shaking here. Boroj, I let the guys go. I think they will be at the gas station anyway. Because um, it's like basically the only one on this track here. So let's see if I can um, maybe stick to them and head to the same campground as they do because I have the option either I will stay somewhere around here find a nice campground or I will head further towards the coast again that was the initial plan to basically meet up with Carl but I mean yeah the road is getting worse and worse but it's still so much fun riding around here even with all the corrugations on this track but anyway a little bit of concentration uh, wouldn't help a little bit of concentration would help here to not go off these tracks uh, this is so bad why that's quite interesting because we basically have no of this uh, washboard stuff in Germany at least not so much like it is here Alright huh. This doesn't look too promising Slow down please, no problem Where's gas? Gas, 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 I need gas, I need gas. open where is gas there is no gas in front there is gas uh -oh. general store toilets mobile hmm. do they even have fuel <laughs> that doesn't look too promising as there was no fuel well I could imagine because it tells me because it was like a historic gas station <laughs> well now I have a little bit of an issue that's why I thought Whoa somebody is watering the road here um, I will go to the campground here with these guys I think they don't mind and then we will see for the rest no camping no problem yeah that is basically the plan for today here Uh, water crossing oh shit let's help the guys <laughs> that will be fun Man down, next down, and my shoe are wet. 
<laughs> it's not that easy. <laughs> yeah. And then you got stuck in this loose stuff here. I thought I think I must have done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This and then you have the the loose and gravelly stuff. The worst combination. Yes. And then you get into the rocks here. Phew. Wait, let me get... Four, Ready? One, two, two three! three. Uh, <laughs> Should be. <laughs> two for two! <laughs> yeah, you can. You want to get back on the bike? Yeah. Okay. One there. Three more to go. Let's go. I think I will firstly swap my GoPro battery here and then we will go for the rest. Let's go. Let's go. See how bad it gets. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Ooh, I'm sweating, but we don't tell anybody. <laughs> that was not too bad. That was not too, too bad. All right. Now the last one, and then we're off. That was crazy, <laughs> I have to admit. That was the most nerve-wracking water crossing I attempted so far. Comet flat. This is the campground. Okay, it doesn't stop here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, bro. Easy, bro. Not really. <laughs> Guys, is this normal here? <laughs> <laughs> Are we done? <laughs> the fun part is I need some water for later and if they don't have fresh water here then I have to go all the way back to the convenience store we saw earlier so that will be fun. <laughs> but first let's find the campground it might be this one right here yeah that looks like a campground let me show you something because this thing feels heavy look <laughs> it's all soaked they will never get dry until tomorrow. How bad is this? <laughs> I don't care and I don't see anything. All right, guys, we are back at the camp. Uh, we had a fun night in the pub, but as you can see or might not see, it's already dark. And I call it a day here and I see you guys tomorrow on the roads ahead. You let it.